Yo, what's up, guys? Today's video, we got a special guest. We got the John Wilkin over here on the greatest team in the world, Game Nation. That's right. And, hey, you're not just in the greatest team in the world. You also got a YouTube channel I now, do, yeah? I do, I do. So, bro, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone and, and talk about the deck you're about to pull right. for them as well. So, my name is John Wilkin, um, slash Kariba Overlord. That's my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm just starting. Please go like and subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to reach, like... Like uh, 200 subscribers before like my next event, that'd be amazing. Um, so what I've been playing uh, recently is the Grand Maju deck, 60 card OTK. I'm scraping everybody with this deck, two O's everywhere. This deck's so good. I just been OTKing everybody. People just like it's not just Grand Maju, right? It's yeah, crazy no, no, too. yeah, yeah. There's so many good cards. Yeah, yeah. Like there's, since, since there's so many aspects of this deck, there's a lot of stuff to be unexpected, yeah. and it's like, oh, you had that, oh, you had. That, and then I just win. Bro, you guys heard the man, the future left tackle of the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> let's fucking go. Right. Also, hit the subscribe button and let's go check out your deck profile. Alright, so three of the Fiend guy himself, Grand Maju de Iza. This card says, when this card is summoned and you've resolved your cards, OTK. <laughs> well, like, the deck's not revolved around it, right? Like, oh, like, no. Like, if you don't oh, draw no, it, no. you're still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this isn't like the, that other Grand Maju deck. This is different. I think it's better. You don't have to draw Grand Maju. In fact, you know what? If you really wanted to, you can cut this card. But I, but this card is just so good, especially some cards that I'll show you later. All right, now for the main part of the deck. Okay. Nice. But a lot dangerous. Damn. So why this count? Why this ratio, bro? So, basically. Why three of this shit? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this. Okay. Pogo Pogo is really bad. This card's terrible. But what is it? <laughs> it's terrible. But I'll play three of it. <laughs> but I played Traden. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, like, okay. It's just a target for trading. That's yeah, that makes sense. That's the only sense. reason okay. why I play that card. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Um, it's also like, it's just a danger, right? All these yeah. things are really good. Yeah. These cards are nice. They, they, these will allow you to go really easily. Yeah. And then the rest are just like turn one, like, like for like Orcus. And it's go second, right? Yeah, so go second. And you play Orcus. Yeah, so you can go first too. So if they're like, if they're trying to be sneaky, oh, I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, Orcus combo with like five in hand, and then I OTK you next turn. Nice back. Nice. <laughs> Double nightmare. Um, so basically, uh, since I play desires, I just want to like I want to be able to like banish one and still have the yeah. one deck. Just like because like even though I banish all my other request cards, it's fine. I just want nightmare deck. Yeah. Um, and then this, this, this. So this is just like this. This brings a, a new depth to the deck that I, yeah. I don't think that the other version of the deck really captures. And um, I think it just makes this makes this grab monster deck just so much better. Oh, yeah. And it allows you just to be able to like, play, like, like make really good boards and yeah. be able to OTK through a lot more stuff. Um, and you also don't have to play bad cards. I also play two Gizmak. So uh, the other decks play three. Uh, I think three is a brick. I really don't want to see this card. I want to, I want to dump it off Nightmare. Um, and and it's play so many dangers. Um, I'm probably gonna see it anyways. Yeah. Uh, th this card's really good though. It's like it's kind of like the reason why this deck works. Because you just dump it off Nightmare. Yeah. This was the, that was my original theory. Uh, so the next cards are kind of good stuff cards. Uh, Triple Denko. Shiba Nibiru, Shiba Phantasme, Shiba Panic Top, Shiba Distrito. Okay. Alright. This is really good going second cards. This is like the heart of the soul that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, these are the cards that you want to see. Yeah. Um, so, uh, against, I, I, was, I was playing against like... Uh, I forget, it was like some like combo deck command on like two monster negates and a spell negate. And I go, okay, Panger Tops, Taco the one monster to get, pop the other monster to get, resolve the Strudo, and then I drew off the, drew off like four different nightmares just because I resolved this and broke their entire board. And like, I just won. I got rid of everything. They had no backup play. It was like some like weird combo deck. And then, I don't know. Nice. Yeah, it, nice. it was really good. Nice. Uh, I'll take one by one. So yeah, Panger Tops, really good. Um, yeah, yeah. Again, again, it's against, against, against everything. everything. 
Um, Everything but Orcos. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Orcos. Wait, wait, I just whooped that deck anyways. Who cares, right? Yeah, exactly. Or especially exactly. if you're Orcos. That's <laughs> just one negate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? biggest trash bro. Yeah, uh, three Phantasmi because I uh, striker. Um, you could draw for everything with that. Yeah, it's really good. Was the Imperial ever dead for you? Every time I drew against Striker too much. Uh, I resolved it once against like Hero, but that was about it. Uh, this card's really good though. Uh, <laughs> 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 that goes nice, eh? <laughs> that goes really nice. All right, and then some cool cards. Just uh, Armageddon Knight, Zephyros, Starblaster. Yeah. Um, this is like one card Ruckus combo, and like if you, like, it can just give you free mo free monsters. Uh, and I like Armageddon Knight because it can just, um, just you know, just, it's a one card Yazi. Um, stuff's really cool about the deck. Uh, yeah, good. Let's do for the monsters. Uh, it's like five, ten, it's like forty-seven. It's a lot of monsters, bro. Yeah, it is a lot. The dangers are kind of spells in a sense. Yeah, I like. They, it's there's like yeah, it's. They, they are kind of like spells, like just like big extenders, and because of that, like you don't really break if you see a lot of monsters. Um, yeah. But you, you, you obviously love seeing these spells, like yeah. th triple desires, triple trade in, uh, triple lore, beginning of the end, foolish. Yeah, and then, uh, those good spells. Yeah, I said the spells. Um, so foolish. Foolish is mainly for two cards. Oh, we just Strudel or Orcus combo, whatever you really want. Zephyros. Yeah, actually, it's one for two cards. It's for like yeah. the main cards I dumped were like this, this, yeah. uh, and then Zephyros and this card. So uh, these are the cards like you want to see in green, like the yeah. cards you want to see in green. Yeah. Especially in Strudel. Uh, I was all beginning in one, and it was like broken. I think it's cool as a one of. Uh, I, I don't. I was playing three, but I realized it just kind of bricks. Yeah. But I think it's just like a one of. It's kind of cool if you draw. If you draw so much, especially if people like have the opportunity to make Strudel. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. And then chill trade, chill desires. Um, that's it for the spells. And I play two traps. One crescendo. And Why do you play crescendo, John? Uh, <laughs> so basically, um, since you since you have so many cards that like break their board, like um, uh, big the whole deck. <laughs> they use, and then you just like attack over their stuff and like with the nightmare cards as well. Um, they're, they're gonna have a very small board, and if they have any chance of hoping to break my um, like break my orcas board. They won't, because I'm just yeah. gonna crescendo them, yeah, and that's just like it's just like, and then you just OTK them next turn. It, it's crazy. Um, this also is really good for the extreme grind game when you like you really need to yeah. like add back and banish skeleton. Yeah. Like just like yeah. be able to make another ding gears too. But yeah. like that's really about it. Um, and then the best card in the deck, Taylor. Um, let's see. Uh, in, in all these decks, all these 60 card decks, I always play Imperial Order because um because you're sick, you're drawing all the time. Exactly. Um, so <laughs> uh, like you play the I, bro, I heard you play this amazing combo, right? So in order to get Imperial Order, you play this amazing combo called Dry <laughs> because he doesn't even play Griffin. What the hell, bro? But so, it's, okay, it's fine. I'm playing a lot of draw cards, right? Like all these cards, and I don't know, like half my deck. That's true, it does draw so, a lot. So, so I hopefully draw order, and it worked against Strike here. I drew like half my deck, and I drew into order, and then I just won. I set up order crescendo after I broke his board. Um, nice. And for the extra deck. Yes. Yeah, right. obviously. Obviously, the Nightmare card. Yeah. Um, I wasn't gonna play Cerberus, but. You gotta play an attack deck like this. I real yeah, I realized yeah. that, like, it's yeah. really good just for just, like, being able to, like, pop it. Yeah. And then just. It's also good because against, uh. Um, what was it? Uh. Like salad or something. I I like summoned pointed into the zone, yeah. and when he, and when he tried to roar it, it was just protected. And yeah. then his orcus him. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, and then oh, this card's just broken. This card makes the deck. Yeah. Um, for the other, cards, I play two uh, So this card is just really good. Spoiler alert. Um, because uh, it's just like especially the battle effect, just being able to keep this on field and um, setting crescendo from there is just nuts. Uh, I play long gears so just in case. It's also just feels like a rank three, uh, and then sorry, uh, link three. Um, 
and then I play Dinker Sue. So yeah. obviously I play Dinker Sue. So this card. Dinker Sue. Why, why would you play this card? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? I, I don't know why anyone will play this card. It's pretty so, bad. So you want to end on basically the Orcus board now. Yeah. Is uh, like Dinker Sue like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Uh, and then you have. And then you have like a. Actually, no, that's like, and then you have a what's it called? This card attached to it, and so that's this is that's like the main orcus board nowadays. So, um, well, I've never seen this board in my life before. So, after, oh yeah, this is this is what people have been doing. Like, realize this was the most optimal play after Barty Scum in, um, and so. That's really good. Sounds good. What else you got in that uh, crazy ass extra deck of yours, bro? All right, two star Yuchen. So two. this was a mistake. Um, honestly, one of the should be Borlo. Borlo seems really good. Yeah. Uh, I missed that card, uh, and the second one never comes up really. Yeah. Yeah. It also can be anything you want. If you have like maybe a Chimera type too, like the Mega Fleet. Yeah. But, um, uh, is really good, especially if you want to just unbreak your hand. Sounds good. Because you play Dangers, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, one, zero Boros. This card is nuts. So, the second effect of this card reads, gains 200 attack for each banished card. And so, late game, when you've resolved Gizmek and Desires, like, you've resolved Desires, like, once or, uh, some, maybe twice, and you resolve Gizmek two, three times. Yeah. You have like 30 banished cards, and if your opponent's all desires, yeah. it's like it's like 11,000 attacks. Yeah. And against Striker, I was just like, oh. Attack. Game? Yeah. And, it's like, and he was like, oh yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, that, I, I like that card. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the OTK card. Yeah. And then I'll put the Yazi package, because obviously. Yeah. Um, so. Yazi's really good. So yeah. if you resolve Yazi, it's not only full Orcus combo, but it's full it's it's full combo. Yeah. Like it allowed me It'll to do full combo then through Lancia. I OTK'd yeah. him through Lancia. Let's see. Because of this card. Let's I mean Bronze Sword. Uh, the side uh, I play nine hand traps. Yeah. Um uh, this is just a stop combo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's really it. And then I play just six macro removal cards so that I can yeah. get to go. Sounds good. All right. What, what do you think of the deck in total, man? It's really good. It's like, it's obviously not like as good as Striker and stuff. Not, not, not as good as those decks. But it's a really strong, like, low competitor. And if you're looking to have some fun and you like you like the Orcus deck, but you don't like playing Orcus, this is definitely just the way to go. And I Let me that. translate that. John here is a humble guy. <laughs> this deck's absolutely broken. And if you have a free... And if you don't play Pendulum, which is contradictory, play this deck. <laughs> it's a good deck. And Hit the subscribe button. Go subscribe to John right now. Thank you. Or else you're an idiot. Kramer Overlord, link in the description. Peace.